Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how you can create a really nice rain particle effect in Game Guru Max. I have learned this just a few hours ago and I want to share my newly gained knowledge. So as you can see we have a really nice rainy scene here. There's a downside to this. It looks like this when you um, look up in the sky. So yeah can't do much about that at the moment there's also some particle effects on the ground missing I will need to figure that out but uh, yeah let's walk through the small level here I created today for a second and uh, I place these particle effects again and then and again um, over the entire level so as you can see here there's no rain so this can be used for um, walking in in buildings and stuff so if you don't want to have rain in certain areas this works also okay now let me explain how I did it first of all I went to the Game Guru Max folder and inside effect bank particles and weather we have this rain particle right here. You need to copy this and then you go to your main folder tools particle editor media and I think it was sprites pretty sure it was sprites Yes, it's sprites. Okay. Once you have that in, you open your particle editor in Game Room X. And I will just now load the preset I made. It's called rain underscore Duchencube. And it looks like this. So previously I had set this to 1 million particles. It looks like really heavy rain there. But the performance is talking, uh, taking a really noticeable hit. So I would refrain to use this and use 256k instead. So let's start at the beginning. Let's go over the settings really quick. So these are the settings. Size is 0 0.72. And I have maxed out size Y and size C. Speed was very important to um, have it at max maximum. Then particle generation. Only have a very short delay. And a long lifespan. Because it will be... Oh, actually... You can... Oh yeah, you can increase the density with this. You know, you gotta play around with this a lot, you know. There are so many settings. And you can easily set the rain here, as you can see. Okay, so the particle type is the most important one. In here, you go to image and then you select your rain particle we have ported. I won't select it now because I al already got it in. But here you can select your custom particle. You can really import any kind of PNG here, you know. As you can see, there are a bunch of PNGs in here. This also would work for snow for, for sure. Maybe I could make a snow tutorial also sometime. That would be nice, I think. So getting this rain effect done was just really me uh, playing around with the particle editor. And... Um, I barely have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is really new to me. I never used the particle editor before. But um, yeah, it is really important to completely zero out the rotation values, you know. Have zero rotation and increase the size. And then it will look like a nice rain particle effect. If you want to do this uh, for yourself right now, 
you can just uh, pause the video where I'll show these values and you can apply them to yourself. So you can have the exact same settings. So yeah, after you have finished this, save it, name it and export the effect to GameGroom X. And there you go. So these are the symbols for the particle emitter. And then you can have a really nice rain effect in your level. What's also really cool is that you can let me select the editor light here. You can also scale the entire um, box. Or at least it didn't. It did work previously. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind then. Okay. Ah, yeah. It works. Yeah. You can scale it with this uh, widget right here. But with the scale multiplier, you can scale it. As you can see, the rain is really big now. It goes over this entire area where my town is. Okay. And you can also make it really small, as you can see. Hopefully. The image is quite dark at the moment. Yeah, so after... <laughs> you know, I was wondering about the GameGrow Max weather effects for a long, long time. And... Yeah, somehow I got into the particle editor today and really made this within a few hours here today and hopefully this video will be useful for you guys. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.